Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the upper right hand corner. Follow me on all forms of social media. Check me out at thatdrummerguy.com and enjoy the following presentation. Hello? Hello. Hi. Josh. Uh, hi, how's it going? Hey man, Henry here. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, I'm so so sorry, man. Uh Metal Blade scheduled three interviews in a row and they gave me 30 minutes, but they lasted like 45 each. And uh, <laughs> so that's why I'm a bit late. I'm sorry for that, for that. Oh, absolutely no problem at all. I'm I'm glad that you were still able to make the time to do this one and uh, be able to talk about some brand new music from God Dethroned. Yeah, well, good, man. Uh, my pleasure. Oh, awesome. Well, uh, uh, of course, like I just said, uh, uh, the brand new album from God Dethroned, Illuminati, is going to be coming out the 7th of February through Metal Blade. I've gotten the chance to be able to check out this album over the last few days, and this is the album I've always wanted from God to Throne. I mean, it's just really? that great, perfect blend of uh, black and death metal, and then being able to expand upon that as well, too, and just showing all the different sides of the band. I really love it for that. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we, um, I don't know. Uh, some people ask me if there's a master plan, master plan behind it, you know, when we write an album. But uh, to tell you the truth, there isn't. Um, I just sit down with my guitar. I try to write the best guitar riffs that I can find at that moment. And then when I when I do, I, I, I go with my ideas to the drummer and we, we work on the songs together. And yeah, that's how an album evolves. And then during the recording process, we add all the melodies and the vocal lines and keyboards and, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's how an album uh, comes to life. And um, yeah, it's so good to hear that, uh, that we managed to, to combine the right things for this album. Um, because yeah, the response overall has been very good so far. Oh, and I'm so glad to hear that too. And I'm I'm glad to hear with the songwriting that it continues to just be a natural effort, whatever feels best to you, and then just going in that direction. You know, because those are when the best albums are made when it feels completely natural and what you want to accomplish on an album. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Um, yeah, it, it's 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 as simple as that. You know. Uh, Maybe some people think there's a whole plan behind it, but it does not, you know, it's just playing and what, what's good we keep and what, what's not good we throw away and yeah, but for this album, I must say that we, um, because we recorded at my house, just like the last album, it means we have a lot of time, we can take all the time we need, there's no time pressure. Um, we decided to to do more keyboards on the album, although they are always in more in the background. They're just there to lift up the atmosphere, basically in the same way like a band like Hypocrisy is doing. Um, I also wanted to do more with the vocals this time, um, so we decided to add the, the, the grunt with the clean singing at the same time. We decided to add the choirs and stuff like that, and 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 having the time to 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 evolve that, I think that made the album really good. Yeah, I so. I couldn't agree more with that sentiment. I mean, and I'm I'm glad that you did bring that up uh, with a uh, vocally too. I mean, it just sounds so rich and it sounds so brutal at the same time when it goes in those directions, and it just it feels so right with the music. Yeah, you know, we try to add a lot of layers in this uh, in this production. So, you know, when you listen to the album for the first time or the first couple of times, you will basically hear the songs and the melodies and stuff like that. But when you keep on listening to the album, you will discover more and more in the music because there's a lot of details put in the music that you may not hear at first, but they will reveal themselves after many listens. And that's something that I really like about this album. We try to take it beyond the realms of death and black metal. We try to go broader on this album, but that's easier said than done. But but because we had the time to try the various things like the keyboard things and the and the vocal things, uh, yeah, we really managed to to put many layers in the music, and and that's something uh, for me that's that's quite a quite something to achieve, you know. It's that's not so easy, but I guess when you have the time, that's something you can do. And when you're in a studio situation where you have like the studio books for three weeks, including mix, then there's no time to to work on those details. 
Yeah, and you know, I was I was wondering about that as well too because, uh, yeah, I mean, once I started getting about like three, four, five listens into the album, I started noticing th- that more layers that I didn't notice before. I mean, whether it was more the keyboard parts, whether it was in the choir moments, whether it was uh, the guitar riffs, vocal lines. I mean, there's so many different things that I didn't notice before that I am coming back to, and to me, uh, that's another great sign of an album that deserves to be heard from start to finish when you're able to discover so much more upon each listen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's great to hear that from you, man. Uh, it means a lot. And uh, it, it's, it probably means that we, that we did a good job. And yeah, like I said, many of your colleagues that I spoke to so far for interviews, they, they really liked the album and uh, yeah, also the production and stuff like that. So so it's it's good to to know that uh, we put in all the energy for for something good and it's and that it's worthwhile, you know. Because I'm always anxious when the album comes out and you get your first reviews in. You, you know, you always hope that it will be good and that people like it. And uh, yeah, it, it turns out really well so far. Yeah, and you know that's so great to hear that. You know that. Yeah, like you said, uh, fellow colleagues feel the same way that I do, and hopefully the fans as well, the more that they get to listen to the album when it eventually comes out, and yeah, it just, there's so many layers behind it, and you know, it's just, it's it's great to hear that too, especially when you are able to work in your own studio, and you're able to add so many things that you might not be able to do, you know, either financially or scheduling or anything like that, if you work in a different studio. Yeah, that's true. Working at home is something I really like. There's always the danger of uh, losing yourself in recording and trying too many things and losing too many too much time, but luckily there's always the deadline that Metal Blade gives us. <laughs> so uh, you know, it doesn't. It's, it's not. Un- we don't have unlimited time, but at least you know. For example, if you book a studio, then the studio guy will tell you at ten in the morning. Okay, Henry. It's time to do some singing, you know, at 10 in the morning. And usually I'm not in the mood for singing then. So when we are recording at my house, I usually start at 10 in the evening. And then I'll keep on singing till 2 at night, you know. And then you feel good. Your your voice is really warmed up because you've been talking all day and stuff like that. And that makes it so nice to to have your own recording facility. Oh, very much so. And yeah, again, when you're able to do that at home too, and you're able to work your own hours, uh, be able to try different techniques and being able to build up your studio as well. And I was wondering about that as well. Uh, Between the last album and Illuminati, uh, did you make like any like minor or major uh, differences in the studio, like uh, any new equipment or techniques or anything like that? Uh, not not in equipment, but uh, basically in, in in technique. You know, um, a lot many times an album is is uh, reamped. You know, when it's finished, it's finished recording. It goes to a studio, and then they do reamping there at the spot, um, which is nice because you can you can look for a sound that you like, and then you can you can put that sound on the album, so to speak. What we did this time is we just made a sound that is our sound. And we made that sound with the amps we always use, also live, and we just recorded it. And there was no, was not even the possibility to, to do reamping. <laughs> but that's what I wanted, because I don't want to search for a sound for, for a day or two days bef- before you have something that you like. I just wanted to make my sound and the sound of the other guitar player, and that sound we recorded, and that's it. And of course, there's also the danger that later on you regret it because you think it's not good enough or something. But you know, since it's the sound that I always have, I thought nothing could go wrong. And actually, I I think nothing went wrong. I think I am really happy that I that I recorded it this way. Just be pure and natural and record the sound that's your sound instead of trying to find something later. Oh, I absolutely agree with that. And I think that's another reason why I'm so attracted to this album is because it does feel so real in the sound and uh, the tones that you're getting. I mean, as a drummer, it's like I can always notice when uh, they try to uh, resample uh, the drum sound to try to get it uh, either on beats or just trying to get a different tone or something like that. And to me, it's it always sounds off. But when I hear like the natural sounds that are coming off of everything, it's just I love love that because it has that great rich organic sound and when you're able to find that in the bass and the guitar the vocals the drums everything it's just i love that Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, me too. I think, you know, when everything is resampled, like the drum kit and, and, and even the guitars nowadays, I think it starts to sound too much like the same. It's like the sound is interchangeable between bands and productions. And it has it, it has its advantages, but I also think it has a lot of disadvantages. And um, I, th I just didn't want to do that anymore. I just wanted to sound like the way God Throne is sounding. So it's the drum kit that we use live. It's the guitars, the amps that we use live. And that's what we recorded. And we didn't try to, to change anything later on. It's just, this is the band. And, and when, it, when it sounds good, in a normal situation why shouldn't it sound good on an album and I think it does sound, does sound very good on this album yeah I couldn't agree more and that's what's got me excited about like uh, the, the live setting as well too because this album does have that great kind of live feel behind it because it does feel so real and then when you go out live and then it'll be it'll sound so great in that live setting because you can remember that sound from the album mm -hmm. yeah yeah also exactly you know, uh, we don't have to reproduce our album live because <laughs> the the album sounds like we sound live, basically. It's just has more layers of guitar and, um, you know, all the things you, you, you can add in the studio situation. But it is how the band sounds. And, yeah, I think people will recognize that in the end. Oh, very much so. And another great aspect about this album that I love so much is uh, not just from the audio that I'm hearing, but visually as well. Like, the album cover is just jaw-dropping to me. I love the colors that are going about it, uh, you know, like starting dark and then just going uh, a bit brighter at the end and just having, like, this great feeling behind it. Like, how did it come together to use this as the artwork? Um, well, actually, our management sent me a list of artists that we could ask to do the artwork. And I went through all the artists. I looked up all the artwork that they did. And this guy popped out. This guy made artwork that I really liked. So I sent him an email. I said, well, I'm Henry from God Dethroned. I'm looking for an artist to do our album cover. Would you be interested? I think um, a day later or so, I got an email back. And he said, man, I'm a longtime fan of, fan of God Dethroned. I'm so honored that you asked me to do artwork. And then um, I gave him the ideas for the album. I, I sent him the lyrics and stuff like that. And um, yeah, this is what he came up with. Like this vortex of, of souls that you're seeing. And then with all the colors that he did. And it's, it's yeah, I think it's very different from many other cover album covers. And it's beautiful. And then when, it's, when, when, when it was finished... He said, I think this is the most beautiful artwork I've ever done in my life. So that's amazing to hear from that guy, of course. Oh, absolutely. And I I really get that vibe, too, uh, from the album artwork that it matches so well with the music. Because uh, just like when you listen to the album over and over and you're able to discover new layers, that's exactly how I feel about the artwork, too. Like, the more that you study the artwork, the more that you're able to see uh, these different lines and these different colors meshing and seeing how everything comes together like that. And it's a great representation. Yeah, you know, normally when somebody does artwork for you, it's finished in like a couple of days, you know. But he has been working on this for weeks in a row. Um, of course, there's computerized uh, details in it, but many things are just hand-drawn. And uh, he combined those two techniques to make this album cover. And he really was working on it, on it for weeks, and then he sent me... He said, okay, this is what I have now. Do you like it? He said, man, it's beautiful. And then he said, well, I have another idea. Let me try it. And then he came a couple days later, he came with another edition on, on the album cover and it made it more and more beautiful all the time. And then after a couple of weeks, it was finished. And I think it's awesome. Oh, yes, I couldn't agree more. And yeah, again, it's just like, I love everything that's going on in God Dethroned right now. I mean, uh, the fact that you, you were able to make such a great natural sounding album and have some amazing artwork behind it. And, you know, just, uh, uh people have gotten a little bit of a taste with the new album with, uh, with the title track being released. And uh, how did it go about uh, being choosing that as the first single? Um, well, it's, it's actually because we decided to uh, do some videos for, for three songs for this new album. And we thought, okay, uh, which, which songs would be suitable for a video? Because you have to look at the lyrics versus what you can do visually in a video. Um, so Illuminati, the title track was very suitable for a video. Spirit of Beelzebub was very suitable and Book of Lies. 
they were probably the three best songs to uh, to put into a, a short movie, so to speak. Uh, Illuminati is, is a short movie. Spirit of Beelzebub has been released last Friday. I don't know if you've, if you've seen it yet, but uh, they are interlinked. The, the, the videos belong together. And then uh, when the album comes out, Metal Blade will release uh, the third video, uh, Book of Lies, and all those th those three videos belong together. And um, and and basically because of the lyrics and how you can represent them in a video, that's why we chose those songs. Because some some uh, songs have lyrics that are too too complicated to visualize in a video. And that's that's why. Oh, I mean, that's got me really excited too. I mean, I I didn't realize that uh, Spirit of Beelzebub was actually uh, released uh, for video. And uh, actually, we're done here. After we're done talking here, I'm going to be checking that out uh, along with rewatching yeah. Illuminati to see how it interconnects. And that's got me excited for when the third video comes out, so you can see the whole story. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We we really uh, spent quite a lot of money on the videos for this album. Um, we really wanted to, to do something special uh, with the whole concept and everything. And yeah, we, we tried to, to make videos that, that, well, interlinking stories. And I don't know if it comes across well or not, but um, yeah, the response on it so far has been very good. And uh, yeah, uh, Spirit of Beelzebub was released last Friday. And um, yeah, yeah, definitely check it out, man. I think if you like Illuminati, then you will like this video as well. Oh, I totally do. I mean, I, I love the concept that was going on behind it, and I think it fits so well with the song. And yeah, I mean, if that was the case with Illuminati, I, I can imagine with Spirit of Beelzebub, it's just going to fit so naturally. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Oh, that's so cool. So again, with uh, all this in mind, I mean, uh, being able to release a trilogy of music videos to be able to help with this album and the album coming out in just a few weeks now on the 7th of February through Metal Blade, uh, what's going to be coming up next for the band? Uh, well, uh, we have uh, three album release shows. Um, on the day of the release, the 7th of February, we play a show in Germany and followed by two days of shows in the Netherlands where we live. And then in the following week, we embark on a European tour with Obscura. It's a German death metal band, a technical death metal band. And that's going to be the first European tour for uh, something like four weeks, something like that. And then um, we are looking for another European tour in, in a different area. And then, already, then it's already festival season here. I don't know if you know it, but we have a lot of festivals in Europe nowadays. So basically you can play on a festival every weekend. And that's what we're going to do through, through, the, through the summer. And then we have something for South America in the works and North America as well. Um, so it looks like this year is going to be packed with live shows. Oh, and it's so great to hear that too, because this is an album that deserves that proper live representation. And I'm glad to see that you're able to cover so much ground between European tours and the summer festival circuit, South America. And uh, that got me really excited to be able to hear North America as well too. It's going to be great to be able to have you back and be able to hear these songs live. Yeah, we are looking for a good tour. Um, we are looking for a bigger headliner that would make more sense for us. Um, so yeah, there's been talks going on about that and uh, we have to see how it develops, but it's definitely our aim to, to tour the US again this year for sure. Oh, fantastic. And I'm so glad to see that again, you know, just with everything that's going on right now. I mean, I gotta imagine it, it's a great feeling to be in God Dethroned right now with an amazing new album, getting a, a lot of great praise uh, between uh, checking out the video, uh, my colleagues being able to uh, show their love and respect for the album and upcoming touring and being able to see that live reception in so many different ways. I mean, it's just, it's so cool to be in that position right now. And I can't wait to see everything else that'll be coming in the future as well yeah man it's, it's it's beautiful i mean we've put in a year of, of hard work to make this album what it is now and um you know i'm always anxious to find out how, how, it, how it will be received but you know i have seen uh, a lot of reviews um and i did interviews where people said it's they, they really like the album and i've got response from the fans that after seeing the the first video for illuminati um, yeah, I mean, now I can say that I have a good feeling about it. You know, until that moment, until you know how the press is receiving your album and your fans, 
it's it's very it's a scary period of time for me you know it's it's those those couple of months where you have delivered everything to metal blade and then waiting for the first response from the press and stuff but now that i know that uh, it's being received well now it feels good you know now i can enjoy the album myself and now we can prepare to to go on the road and to meet our fans again and to meet new fans and stuff yeah that's actually the best the best thing you know to uh, to, to 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 go out and play live because that's that's why i'm in a band oh absolutely and i can just imagine that feeling as well too when you're you are playing shows and especially something like this when you have a brand new album to promote that people aren't just there to be able to hear the classics from god to throne and be able to check that out but when you get that great live reception for the new songs as well i mean i gotta feel that i gotta imagine it feels like a great justified feeling to be able to be proud of that album that you created oh yeah definitely definitely and and the funny thing is that you you never know which which songs will will become the favorites over time you know we uh, for example on the world of blaze album album the, the previous one we have a song called escape across the ice um you know the white army that's a song we thought was so different from previous god Throne work that we were wondering if we should put it on the album or not but we liked it ourselves, so we said, come on, let's put it on the album, we'll see what happens. Now, it turns out, it's one of the favorite songs of our fans. We always play it, and people really love that song. It's something we never could have expected beforehand. So I'm really curious what will happen with the new album, you know? We we decided to make videos for uh, Ill Illuminati, Spirit of Beelzebub, and Book of Lies, also thinking that those songs will be received very well. But maybe there will be another song on the album, one that I didn't expect will become uh, the, 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 the classic track of the album, so to speak. And that's going to be exciting to find out in the next year. Oh, yes, I can absolutely imagine that. And, you know, that that is so great with that live reception, too, because you, you just don't know what's going to be uh, a great live reception and, you know, what's going to be a, a live staple coming forward that people always want to be able to hear. I mean, I got my favorites off the album, but, you know, it's going to be great to see what everyone Everyone else is feeling about that and yeah i mean again just it's it's so cool to see everything uh, that's going on in your world right now uh, being able to do press being able to promote this great album going to be going on tour soon with some amazing bands and then the summer festival circuit and then everything else that'll be coming in the future you know it's just it's so great that you were able to take this time to be able to talk to me about all of it and just talk about this amazing new album called illuminati mm -hmm. yeah thank you very much man it's uh, it's been a pleasure to talk to you about it it's always good to hear somebody so enthusiastic about our songs. It really makes me uh, makes me feel special. It makes me feel like okay, I, I can go on for many more years because uh, we're doing it for a good reason. You know what I mean? Oh, very much so. I mean, yeah, I mean, if it's getting this kind of reception, you know, after all this time in 2020, I mean, I can't wait to see what's going to be coming up in the future. And Illuminati's not even out yet. No, that's true. Yeah, we'll see what happens, man. I, I, I can't wait to to uh, to hear from Metal Blade how it's doing and stuff like that to get the first results. And, you know, we, we will probably be in the album charts again in Germany. Um, you know, it's, it's so exciting to, 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 to have all that going on in your life. I mean, it's like in the, back in the day, it was impossible to, to enter the charts, you know? Like, what's the charts again in the, in the U.S.? It's called Billboard, right? Billboard yes. charts? Yes. Yeah, so, so, of course, the U.S. is a huge country. Uh, Europe is huge as well, but we have our, our separate countries with our separate charts, uh, you know, charts, um, how do you call that? But anyway, in Germany, the biggest metal country in Europe, there you can be in the album charts, in the, in the album top 100. And that's so great. We were in there with the last album, with the World of Blaze, and yeah, hopefully we will do much better with a new one, and that will be a very good promotion for the band as well. Oh yes, I can only imagine. And uh, I'm really hoping it does well here over in the States and of course in Germany as well uh, being able to great that uh, great promotion being on the charts and everything because this is an album that truly deserves it and yeah I'm just I'm so excited to be able to talk about it promote it over here in the states being able to play songs on my show and of course uh, being able to talk to you about everything that's going on in your world right now well thanks a lot 
Oh, absolutely. And, you know, I think with that, I think that's an amazing note to end on. And uh, thank you so very much again for taking this time to be able to talk about this amazing album called Illuminati from God to Throne, which will be out the 7th of February through Metal Blade. I love this album. It's what I've wanted from a God to Throne album for so long. And it's just, it's so great to see that. And I'm so excited to see everything that's going to be coming up in the future again. And again, thank you very much for taking the time to be able to talk to me about all of it. Hey man, my pleasure. Thank, thank you for the interview.